Hello everybody and welcome back to my studio. My name is Elke and today I am going something very different. Uh, I do love actually water in my backyard. I have a little water feature um, and I often use a bowl or something and just put water in and have some candles floating or have some uh, flowers floating in there just you know like just some heads of some daisies or something because I love the freshness of the water on the table and it's just it's like a little miniature lake inside or on your table so I was looking for a container that's obviously sealed that I can have water in there and I found this beautiful um, square one which is the outside is like birch, a birch bark <laughs> inside kind of a metal aluminum um, bowl in there and so I'm going to use this one and this time very simple I think I'm just going to use greenery no flowers just greenery leaves and grasses uh, little rocks and some candles and it's just kind of different so for the greenery to put that in there's different ways obviously you can do that you can use some oasis block uh, I put a little bunch in the corner or in the center wherever you want it um, I'm gonna use these little it's a little frog it's called a frog and it's just like a metal heavy uh, yeah a heavy thing that has these pokey nails sticking out there it's, it's very well known in the Ikebana um, art but uh, yeah that's that's kind of cool because it just um, it's just in in the container and is underwater and it just holds my flowers so I'm going to take this in one of the corner. I'm not going to do a center one, just put it in the corner. Have grasses. And what I did with the grasses here is uh, when you take a grass into a frog, it's often, you know, just it's so thin that it just kind of falls over and doesn't give any stability. So I just made a bundle and tied it with some wire. And then when I put that in now, oof, yeah. So see it just sticks because now I'm dealing with a thicker stem. So I'm going to ha have this one. I like that it kind of floats over and I obviously I can trape that over the table over the sideboard wherever I put that. Um, then I have little uh, leaves of the hosta. Put those ones nicely just short and flat which also gives me a little bit of a coverage of that block of the, of the frog. But I also use a few rocks, maybe in the back. It just helps me to cover it up. I will do that at the end again. Uh -huh. Some other grasses that have a little bit of a fruit stand. And when I use those ones, I can really stick them through the leaves and then they, they hold too. And maidenhair fern is something very delicate. And I actually found a, a neat trick for those ones when you use them in a frock. In oasis, not a big deal. They have very, very thin, uh, very, very thin stem. And um, yeah, like I said, in oasis, perfect goes in. It's very hard and goes in nicely. But if I put that into the frock, it's, it's, it doesn't stick. It's just too thin. So I'm going to use uh, the end of one of my hosta leaves because that is very, it's kind of thick and it's um, soft. And then I just take my stem and poke it right through, through that little piece of soft, um, of the soft stem. So put it right through. And then I stick that into my uh, frog and then it sticks perfectly like that look at that and yeah and maybe another one right again into that nice thick stem okay oops didn't work i think it wants its own so i'll go right through it have this nice thilp, have this nice thick uh, stem that goes right through it and then I can just stick it into my frog. So, and then another bit of the fruit stand. And that's actually, I think it's, it's greenery wise probably enough. Take that away, it's easier to see. 
um, use some water first. It gives me an idea how I'm going to use it. Maybe a nice big fat rock. I always like that one. It's a very natural look. And because, you see, I have, I have here little bowls. Those are, um, I think I bought them at a garden market or something. And these are just little glass bowls that are floating. In. And you can put a tea light in there. Uh, if you don't have those ones, you just use floating candles. They already have the shape in there. So they float nicely in here. But because of that, I'm now going to shorten up my um, greenery because I don't want it to be right in you know, I'm burning, that the, the candle is burning this. So let's just uh, look for here. This is just another decoration piece. These are glass bubbles, glass bubbles, yes. And uh, again, I bought them at a cool uh, outdoor market in Germany and they're just floating in there. You can just use a flower that you want to flo uh, float or something and, um, and actually just use a little bit more of the rock cover up my froth. I don't like to see that one. And actually put them put them in other spaces in your bouquet too. So if you just make a pile of rocks on top of the frog, then it looks like a pile of the rocks on top of a frog. So it's it, it's in your face that you want to cover something up. Uh, but if you make it as a you know piles nicely cover up the frog and then let it flow through the whole bouquet and then it is part of the design so it's not just uh, the purpose of covering it up it's it actually is part of the design okay, more. Wow. Let's just look here nicely but and let's just turn on the handle and I think that's just, a, you know, it's just a little greenery and um, the candle floating are uh, just a, way, a little bit more an in interesting and creative way of um, yeah, and having some light on your table. So you can use that uh, kind of style in um, as a table decoration for a dinner party. Um, in, in that case, I would use very shorter grasses or maybe even no grasses at all, just have shorter varieties of, of flowers or just greenery and some candles floating and you're ready to go. Okay, just another idea and hopefully something you try too. It is very simple. You don't even have to have a garden. There's a few little grasses from, from the road. Ask a friend if they have something. Go to the flower shop. Uh, there's lots of lots of greens available. Just the grass, a few leaves. Look at this. It's just literally um, yeah, a little handful and then a bowl that is obviously uh, can hold the water um, if you don't have the frog then you use um, you use the oasis blocks and put a little bit in and just secure it you can you have to secure it either with rocks with bigger rocks or um, uh, you know you have these little uh, holders that you can use for the oasis blocks and and that's it okay hope you like that and uh, if you like what I'm doing please subscribe to my channel and um, give me a thumbs up and uh, turn on the notification. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy this. I see you next time. Mm -hmm.